Hello guys, so welcome back to the channel. Fred has officially joined Fenerbahce. The transfer was completed for the sum of 15 million euros. Also, Anthony Martial has opened talks with Manchester United following the arrival of Rasmus Hoyland. He wants to discuss his future with the club. We'll be discussing about these two players in today's video. But before we do that, you kindly like, share and subscribe to this channel. As a Manchester United fan, you should be subscribed to this channel because on this channel, we'll discuss about Manchester United and Manchester United alone. So guys, Fred just completed his transfer to Fenerbahce. The midfielder was signed for the sum of 15 million euros to the Turkish club. You know, this transfer thing has been going on for a while. At first, it was Galatasaray. But then that deal didn't go through. Although he had agreed on personal terms to Galatasaray. But due to some unforeseen circumstances, the player decided to sign for Fenerbahce. Right now, he's in Turkey. Right now, Fred is in Turkey. A Fenerbahce player. Officially a Fenerbahce player. 15 million euros in the bag for Manchester United. And you know we are going to utilize that money into the signing of Amrabat. That is my prediction. That is what I want our club to do. Carry that money from Fred. Add. We'll go and sign Amrabat immediately. Because that place now don't they open. Because currently there are talks that Van de Beek wants to go to Ajax. Because Ajax has resumed talks and interest with the player. They want him to come back to their team. You know he's a Dutchman already. So they want him back in Ajax. Although Real Sociedad has been chasing Van de Beek for a while. But I'm pretty sure if Van de Beek was given the choice between Real Sociedad and Ajax, he would choose Ajax. I'm very sure. So we've completed the transfer of Fred to Fenerbahce. 15 million euros. And that's what we have. We've, we've also sold a couple of players this season. Looking at what we've sold, we've sold um, Zidane Iqbal for the sum of 1 million euros. We also sold Ethan Liad. 900,000 euros. We sold Alex Telles. You know, he, he joined Ronaldo in Al Nassau in the Saudi Arabian League. We sold Alex Telles for 10 million euros. That's a good money for Alex Telles. We sold Anthony Alanga for 18 million euros. 18 million euros. Good money for a player like Alanga. Uh, uh, Anthony Alanga. We sold Nathan Bishop for 330,000 pounds. We sold Matej Kova for 9 million euros and now Fred has gone for 15 million euros meaning we have some void in the team for us to replace expecting the signing of Amrabat because that's what our club promised us that if Fred goes they will go after Amrabat in full force and Amrabat really wants to play for Manchester United that's why he has been putting up attitude for Fiorentina and he has made his intentions known that he wants to play for United. The Moroccan mid defender is defensive midfielder. You know, sometimes Casemiro feel they injured. Or you know Casemiro and Red Card. Him and Red Card, they be like 5 and 6. Last season, he, he collected up to 3 or more Red Cards. Just last season. Just last season. Most of the matches he missed, he didn't miss them due to injury. Or anything like that. It was due to Red Cards. So if Casemiro go, we need Amrabat to do the dirty work. If you watch Amrabat, I posted a video of his highlights. If you watch his passes and his tackles, it could just say a replica of a king. Amrabat is a replica of a king. So as Fred has gone, hopefully we'll sign Amrabat from Fiorentina. The second topic we are going to be talking about today is Anthony Masia. This one, I think they call there is fire on the mountain. Because in the competition, he has seen competition. Before he said, only him, all those nonsense he and guys they play. Right now, there is competition, so he has to sit up. He's a striker. We've got him as much Holland, which is a good striker. If you watch, I have Holland's highlight also posted on the channel. You can check it out too. If you see the boy's highlight, you know he's a good poacher. Bang, 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 go. He knows how to dribble. He knows how to pass the ball. I need a true whole ball. Like uh, Marcia, Marcia will hold ball, hold ball, hold ball, go they beg and to pass him and Sancho. I don't know what their problem is. Then go they hold ball for leg, go pass ball and then go hold on for leg. But this Rasmus Hoyland, if you watch the guy play, he they release ball quick. Right? In fact, what do they think? What do they expect them to do? 
to pass ball now within the boy they do and if they score and if they very fast if they run he has pace very pretty player you look at him you know, not say if you get that kind of speed for leg but the boy they run with hot shot really that in left foot so i like as uh Marcia now I don't see competition you know open talks with the club he wants to know his future at the club he wants to know what he thought since there's all right now what plans do you have for me i do club you they sign another striker to come and the striker get a lot of media and publicity following his signing to the team because we don't just sign and secretly like when you just sign player away you don't get plans for the whole long transfer now the media call transfer saga it take time take time take time take time Media carry the news, carry the news, carry the news before we sign Hoy Long. So now something way as the thing happened now, I say very good. There's competition for Masha, so he'll sit up. Everything hard. I think that man knows what he's doing. He's he's bringing each each wing in the bring competition for you so that you don't agree really lose your team, your your place for the team. For instance, look at Dalo and Wan Bisaka. Both players now don't sit up. Both players they've improved their gameplay, they've improved their defense. Look at one Bisaka before you know Sabi pass ball. Bisaka don't the pass ball away. You don't improve in that angle. You don't bring Hoy on now for Masha. Made them argue him there. He wants to sign another defender. Oh. He wants to sign another defender. Pavard or Todibu. He wants to sign another one. So more competition for that defense. More competition than go data defense now. So we'll see how the team will go. If he signs Amrabat now, there'll be competition for Casemiro. So Casemiro now go sit up. Already, Anthony, Sancho, Rashford, Missy Mount, those people they drag. Ericsson, midfield, we have Ericsson, Casemiro, Van de Beek is still in the club, uh, Bruno Fernandez, Missy Mount. So competition he. So everybody now will stand on their toes. You don't come and play rubbish and you think the coach will keep you there. And if you have an action man, he does not care. If you think you are bigger than the club, he will tell you that the club is bigger than every single player here. That's what he did to Ronaldo. We are the Man U fan. All of us watching this thing, we are Man U fans. And we love Ronaldo genuinely. Even till now, we still love Ronaldo. But if you have to tell him that you are not bigger than Manchester United. You don't make the rules, yeah. The club, the management makes the rules, yeah. You follow, follow the vision of the manager, follow the vision and pattern of the club. So everybody will be happy and you make the club more successful. So I'm happy there's competition for Anthony Martial. In case he has all those useless injuries that he used to have, there'll be somebody to stand in place. So don't suffer what was suffered last season. If it was not Rashford, say last season just pick up form, the score goes like striker. What do you for do? No, 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 talk. So I'm very happy that we have uh, a player like Rasmus Hoyland to come and beef up the team and make competition between him and Marshall. So you don't play any loose balls anyhow. Yes, so that's what I have for you guys today. I'll be giving you more videos and more updates as time goes by. So we'll have more updates coming out from Old Trafford and Carrington. I'll be here to update you guys. Do have a lovely day and thanks for supporting the greatest football club in the world. Manchester United. And if you have not subscribed, hit the subscribe button now.